you too today we're gonna show you guys how to become the best player in nba 2k24 comp pro and 5v5 so we're gonna do a series i'm gonna show you guys how to be the best player in 5v5 3v3 2v2 1v1 but today make sure you guys share this with all your friends this is how to be the best guard in nba 2k24 for 5v5 so let's get right into the video uh right away we're going against shots top five we're going against Laker fan. If you guys don't know Laker fan, he, he's big time on YouTube. He, he makes great content. Same thing with Joey 2K. He makes great content, big time on 2K. Tonic is big time on 2K, making great con content. Content. And uh, Brady Blitz. Uh, I've seen his name a lot. He's pretty good lockdown. He's pre uh, pretty familiar in the 2K community. But yeah, we're playing against a good five. This is a really good five. And I'm going to show you guys how to play guard at the highest level so let's get right into the video guys make sure you guys share this with your guards and uh let's do let's get into this video let's break it down let's get right into it all right so right away guys this is a really effective tip and trick that a lot of guards are doing uh right here the offense is looking kind of bad we're down 16 to 7 we're actually down right now so i could have had this shot i could have had all these shots but this is what people in the comp community like to call a full back dive or a half back dive you know how like people just hand it off to the running back and they just run up the middle this is what a lot of guards call half back dive you just half back dive it by just throwing it to your center early so right here he's in this position right here you just throw it to him like a little half back dive you hand it off to him and then he's in this spot right so once he's in this dead zone spot he could stick dunk it's very overpowered or he could do a quick pass back right to you but this is a very effective way to get your takeover up i already did it once and then i did it again so i'm at 14 percent take uh he gets the ball down there in the post he does a little jab step or whatever and then he stick dunks green boom we're at 34 percent and we, all we did was two we did two uh halfback dive plays pretty much so when i say halfback dive or fullback dive whatever the center knows to just go down and expect an early like handoff pass and then at that point he can do a stick dunk in the paint in the paint halfback dive has been effective for like three years now in 2k so as long as stand dunks are really overpowered you can sprinkle in some little halfback dives into your game and get some assists going uh we had shots right out the gate but yeah, halfback dive is a good little way to get assists. It's very eff uh, efficient, a very effective way. Boom, right here, do it, and he got a stick dunk right there, bang. And we got it. So right here, we're bringing the ball up, and what I notice is people are very like afraid of my 98 three ball build. So I have a 98 three ball build, and they know I want to shoot and chuck. So on the point guard side, usually there's a lock on you, power forward on center, center on the power forward. And usually your shooting guard is going to spot up on the guard side. So the left corner is the point guard. Uh, left wing is the shooting guard. So this is shooting guard, shooting guard action. The point guard is usually on the lock. So whenever you have the shooting guard, <coughs> whenever you have the shooting guard on the point guard side, you could call a lot of plays for the shooting guard on the lock on this side. Because they'll take the power forward backing up to really take that away. The power forward isn't backing up. He's playing really high. So I told my center to hold a screen so we can have a little bit of action right here on the left side. Remember, it's really hard to do plays and stuff if the shooting guard's on the right side. So imagine if I was where my shooting guard was, right? Imagine I was on the left wing calling the offense and my shooting guard was on the right. This center could play two really well. But since my B icon, my shooting guard, my B is on the left side, on the guard side with no defense, you could be a little bit aggressive with the play calls. You guys get what I'm saying? So if B was, if me and B swift, uh, swap spots, I was on the left wing, B was on the right wing, this center in the center guard, uh, this center in the corner guarding Y can play two of them. It's, it's hard to run plays for a shooting guard that's on the center side. But since the shooting guard's on the point guard side, it's easier guard uh, to run plays. And usually this power four has to back up, but the power four is playing really high. Laker fan really respects my three. So I was like, yo, shooting guard, cut back door. So he cuts back door and we have a dunk. So boom, right out the gate, we have three assists, just calling plays, just simple stuff, three assists. And we're at 53% to our take already. All right, so right here we have four assists. We could be kind of confident shooting it because we got a little bit of take. Remember, you guys don't have to start off passing. You really have to be really aggressive. Uh, to play point guard this year so come out like come out chucking pretty much come out be aggressive but i have four assists right out the gate because teams know that i want to chuck the ball so being a chuck and being a really good scorer helps you in the long run because it opens up the passing lanes and your assists so as you guys see the play before laker fan really had to play up because uh it couldn't guard the cuts because he has to respect my three so right here uh i know they're gonna say a little bit low they're gonna like 
they're going to play my passes, so I got to be a little aggressive. So right here, we're just dribbling around, dribbling around. Uh, I tell them, hold the screen, hold the screen. Right here, the way they're playing it, Laker fan is really on the left. He's guarding my left heavy. Tonic is late stepping. So in my mind, I'm like, yo, they're probably going around rotation because when you see them, when you see someone hovering one side like that so heavy, you could tell rotation's coming. So I'm like, okay, so rotation's coming. I either, I either have a quick shot on the wing or a quick dot to the right, or I could throw a slip. So right here, boom, I do a quick stop right there. And yeah, Tonic was late to it. He was probably ready to run to the corner. We'll see it in full time right here. Uh, Laker was just guarding his left really heavy. So I'm like, yo, I need a quick stop right. Boom, a quick stop right, right in the defense. And that's an open shot right there. So yeah, they were kind of confused right there. We're down six still, but we're coming back. And yeah, I was like, boom, let me quick stop the, uh, this little rotation. Uh, I have a quick dot to the right corner where I have this shot. I decide to go for the shot. Boom, easy three. So we're going to show you guys a little bit of defense also. This is what you're supposed to do as a guard. As a guard, you're supposed to just gap your cut, play your cut really low like this. We call it gapping it. You just play really low so you can't get to the paint on you, but also you could get to the shot and contest it last second. So we call this gapping it. You want you don't want to hug your man where he could easily cut you. You want to go super low where you could like bump the cut but you also want to have enough room where you could contest it also. But also, if the point guard's open, it's your job to play up and contest it. You see that? We get the contest right there, guys. We get the contest. My lock didn't get the contest. So your job is to move also. If they're close to your corner, your job is to move. Don't just watch your lock. You see, we got our hands up. My lock didn't get a contest. I did. So I'm over there. I contested him. Uh, if he guesses it to my, to my big, it's whatever. But you do not want the guards to get going. Uh, and you want to shade for your teammates. You don't want your teammates to just play 2v2 ball with a pick and roll and no one's guarding anything. You want to help your teammates. As soon as we get this contest, we just flare out. We just leak. And I'm like, throw it to me. A, 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 A. I'm spazzing. I'm like, A, 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 A. And we run an easy route for a three. Boom. Very simple ball. Very, very simple ball. And we get takeover. We turned our defense into offense. Very, very simple. Remember, guys, you do not want to just watch your lock just go against someone that has badge or a guard you do not want this to happen you do not want him to walk in here and just shoot it so i played up right here contested it and i got out of there and then i let my teammates know throw it to me throw it to me throw it to me easy three all right so right here i have my take i'm saving it but my shooting guard has take remember what i said the big man's on the right side uh they're kind of worried about me right now i'm missing open shots but i have eight points so we have a little balanced game right now. We have eight points, four assists. Uh, remember, the center's guard, my power on the right. The left side gives you a lot of freedom, guys. Left side gives you a lot of freedom. The guard side gives you a lot of freedom to call plays. So remember, I could call a cut back door for my lock, but not really. He's, he's gapping really well. He's really sitting on the lane. Uh, I'm not in scoring position right now, so Tonic is playing low. I can't throw a cut right now. But... I, I want to test the point guard's defense. I call a slide. So if you guys don't know what a slide is, when you call a slide, your shooting guard just slides just a little bit over to the corner and then shoots it. Fifi is when your lock cuts and your shooting guard takes the corner right away. Slide is when your shooting guard just slides just a little bit to the corner for a three. So right here, I call a slide. I'm like, yo, slide, slide, slide. And last second, he slides over. You see that? It's very easy. It's like an easy play, like it looks simple, but if you sprinkle it, if you sprinkle it in, in like sometimes, like it'll work. So right here, I'm just like slide, slide, slide. Last second, he slides over, boom. So we have perfect timing on that. Get some timing with your shooting guard and it'll work. Trust me, guys. So shout out to Braylon. Me and his timing is really, really good. And right now we have eight points, five assists. So right here, we have eight point five. Uh, we have eight points, five assists. We need anything for Mamba. And right here, I call a hash stop. So my lock is inbounding, and my shooting guard decides to go right because he knows that the hash stop is coming. So my shooting guard goes from the left side to the right side. So we're calling a hash stop. The point guard doesn't see it coming. The point guard's like, okay, he's probably going to go back to his corner. But the hash stop for the inbounder, he's going to stop right at the hash randomly. Boom. He gets back on the hash. Wide open three, and that's for my Mamba, and he hits. So we're going to watch this play over. Remember, the point guard got to be really locked. That's the inbounder right there. So pay attention, guys. J.O., who's inbounding the ball, is my lockdown. Braylon, my shooting guard, starting on the left side. There's no hash stop if Braylon's on my left, you know? If Braylon's spot up on the left, there's no hash stop. So 
I'm telling my lock, yo, hash stop, hash stop, hash stop, right? So Braylon understands this. He clears out, goes to the right. Me, I'm going up the court, pretend we're going to run some pick and roll. J.O. pretends he's going to the corner. My lock, that's inbounding the ball, pretends he's going to the corner. And he randomly flares up on the PG. Boom. So we get mob off that. We're just, we're just calling a lot of random plays. We're sprinkling in pick and roll, three hunting, whatever. But we're calling plays also. And we have 8.6 assists. So it's literally insane right now. Sprinkle in some plays, guys. Remember, be aggressive first at point guard, but also sprinkle in some plays. Right here, we call a little wrap-up play for uh, Braylon at Mamba Badge. If you guys don't know what Mamba Badge is, it's when you get uh, both your takeovers filled up. And you get every badge of the game. So we have playmaking badge also. So I'm like, okay, I could be aggressive because Mamba is sharp badge. But it's also a play badge also. So I was like, let me use this to get Braylon involved. And let, let me get his heat check going. So I fast stop right there. I go wide. I call off ball screen for Braylon. Braylon takes the screen. Tonic doesn't know what to guard because he has to guard my, my badge also. And he has to guard an off ball screen. So that's an easy open three for Braylon. I'm getting my teammates involved. I'm really aggressive. Remember, all these plays are working, guys, because I'm a very aggressive guard. I like to chuck threes. As you guys see, I'm shooting 29% for three. I'm shooting a couple contested shots. I'm missing opens, but they have to play up because I will get open and I will score 30. So, boom. He's kind of worried about the pick and roll. He realizes the off-ball screen last second. Boom. Easy three for my shooting guard. Get my teammates involved. Easy bet. So, remember what I told you guys about passing, balancing it a little bit? You got to come out aggressive, and once people respect you, uh, you have the passes, but once people play your passes, they don't think you can score. So at this point, I'm thinking in my head, like, yo, I got to be aggressive. I pass too much right now. Boom, I play around with the screen, and I quick stop right in the middle. So it's very hard to guard a guard that knows how to do everything. So right here, we're doing a little L2 cancel, L2 cancel left, L2 cancel right. Boom, to set him up. Then we speed boost middle. Boom, we take the screen. We behind the back. And then we do the little Kemba into the quick stop forward. Boom. It's really hard to guard that because, like, Tonic is on edge right now. Tonic is like, yo, I got to guard all his plays. Everyone doesn't want to pinch or help because they're like, yo, we have to watch his plays. He's just calling plays. So the shooting guard is going to face guard my shooting guard because he's scared of the play calls and he has sharp edge. The point guard is playing the cut really well. So er you see how, like, wide the court is because everyone has to hug their man. So remember, start off the game being aggressive, guys. Establish your baskets, establish your points, show them that you can score. Then, once they respect your scoring, sprinkle in some plays, some assists. Then it opens up your scoring again. So right here, boom, be on the back, quick stop middle, boom. So we have a lot of floor to play with. A lot of floor to play with because we're sprinkling in plays and just calling it random stuff. Look how much space we have to play with right here. We have. We could go left, we could go right. Look at this whole right side we have, and we have the whole middle. We have everything. Boom, easy shot, great. Right here, we call bucks. If you guys don't know what bucks is, it's when you throw it to your center and you just wrap. So we're just calling a lot of plays right now. So right here, I'm, I'm like bucks, bucks, bucks. So pay attention, give this to your teammates, show this video to your teammates if you guys don't know what bucks is. We're gonna break this down right here. So I'm calling bucks right here. Bucks, your center goes top of the key, you throw it to your center top of the key, and then both of you guys just wrap. And then the lock can cut too if he wants. The cut will be wide open. Uh, big man might have to back up to play the cut, help the guard. But the point is, for Bucks, is to wrap it, get some movement going. You could throw it to the left corner for a cut on the small guard, or we're just gonna wrap this over him. So I want the little, I want the shooting guard on me. I want the lock off me. So I'm like Bucks it, Bucks it, Bucks it. I come back to the ball. I have the lock off me now, and now I just feel really confident. One beyond the back, he's off me, boom. So if you're a guard or a shooting guard, you could call Bucks to get st some movement going and to get a switch that you want. Bucks forces a lot of switches. So if you feel like there's a weaker defender on the court, call a Bucks, double wrap it, and then come get the ball like I did, and then attack. I'm like, okay, I'm confident. I got a non-lock on me, boom, great. All right, so remember while I was telling you guys about defense, the same play happened again. Uh, my lock got beat to a spot and then i just came up last second uh it's an open shot but i felt like i sped it up a little bit or messed up his timing a little bit and then i just got out of there i'm like yo hit me hit me hit me boom easy three and i get heat check off that heat check is very very deadly so that's a good little touch pass by my shooting guard remember you just want to 
You want to play your cuts as a point guard, but also when the opportunity comes, like you want to speed up a shot or just be annoying. So right here, I felt like I kind of altered the shot a little bit. He could have greened it, but I felt like I changed the shot a little bit and then I leaked out for an easy shot. And we get heat check. All right, guys, so we have heat check. As you guys know, heat check is broken. When you green three shots in a row, three layups, three middies, three threes, make sure that whatever, if you green three in a row, you get heat check. And at this point with heat check, you got to be aggressive, guys. This is your chance to chuck whatever shot you want if someone has heat check on your team shoot whatever shot you want and it's in boom we're just really aggressive boom so right here with the heat check we're smart with it we're just not we're not chucking a dumb shot i call a wrap so when you call a wrap your wing player goes to the other side and clears out that side you're running to so we call a wrap i think they get confused right here so they have to switch it and off the wrap i had this shot i don't know what i'm thinking i had this shot I pretend I'm going left again, and I'm behind the back right again, and I have that shot. Boom. Green. Really simple. Wait, heat check. It just, you could dominate the game, but you see I'm just calling. I'm making stuff easy for me, guys. I'm not a dribble guy. The reason why I'm good at every 2K is because I manipulate defenses, and I know how to, like, get defenses that play how I want them to play. So I'm not being a dribble guy. I'm just doing simple stuff. I call a wrap. Uh, off the wrap, I, call, I did it behind the back. I'm open overkill but I'll be on the back again easy three all right so right here we got takeover again i think i call a play right here I, i'm telling him hold the screen hold the screen i call a jo cut i call my lock to cut so with my lock cutting i know the power four has to back up and help him uh he does last second i have jo wide open but i go for a fat stop i didn't shoot that shot i don't know what's wrong with me i fast stopped him just shoot it i just go wide and shoot a fade anyway I had everything right there. We're going to watch it real time. I call a cut. I had the cut pass open. I could have threw it. I had the fast stop three. I could have shot that. But I just go wide for a midi two. So I have everything open. Uh, the defense is really confused because I have everything. I have the cut pass. I have the three. But I ended up going for a mid. So just calling a lot of plays just confuses the defense, guys. And, and plus, if you're really aggressive with the plays, people hate guarding. All right, so right here, guys, we have 22 and 9. We call a wrap right here. I'm like, yo, wrap, 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 wrap. And I got to step on them. They're kind of confused. I got to step on them. I'm behind the back. And then, boom, I crab them. Right there. I crab them. Wide open shot. Boom. Three. So, they're just confused because we're running a lot of movements. Uh, I called a wrap. And then, Braylon started dexing with his badge. Boom. They're confused about what we're doing. I crab them. Wide open three. Boom. So, I'm just calling a bunch of random plays. And setting myself up for open shot. All right, guys. So, right here, we have heat check with badge. So, whatever shot we shoot is a good shot. So, over here, I'm feeling very confident. I do the behind the back once. Behind the back again. Behind the back again. So, no one no one expects a triple behind the back. And no one expects someone from, to shoot from this deep. But we have heat check. And they're playing really low. We shoot it from this deep. And we green it. So, uh, yeah. The triple behind the back is very good. If you guys don't know how to do it, you do behind the back. You tap your left stick up just a tad for a second, just a little split second, and you be on the back again. Then you flick your left stick up a, t a tad second again, and then you be on the back again. So you're pretty much canceling out of it. So we do behind the back, tap the left stick, be on the back, tap the left stick, be on the back, and then shoot it. Heat check is very, very key, guys. And right now we have 31 and 9. Alright, so at this point we have 31 and 9. I have sharp badge. I just I just been taking over, chucking every play. And now I'm like, yo, we gotta call another play. Cut, 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 Braylon, cut. And it's tough on Tonic because he, he he has to he has to step on me. He has to step on me. I'm shooting crazy shots. I'm shooting from deep. I have sharp badge. He has to guard everything. Power forward is the hardest position in comp prime, guys. Because if you're going against a really good guard, your power forward has to guard everything. Your power forward has to guard the slip, the little stand dunk from the center. He has to box out. He has to grab the rebound. He has to play the little guard cut. The guards can't really guard their cut, so he has to play the lock cut. He has to play the shooting guard cut. He has to play the point guard. He has to play PNR. He has to call rotations. Guys, if you guys play competitive pro -M, Power forward is the hardest position by far. I cannot play power forward. I feel like I could play 2K league level point guard, shooting guard, lock, center. I feel like I'll be the best in the 2K league at all those positions, but I'm not playing power forward in the league. Power forward is the hardest position on 2K at the highest level. If you don't think so, then you got to play a little bit more comp. But if you think so, I feel like you're on that comp level right now. If you don't feel like power forward is the hardest position on 2K, then you got some ways to go, in my opinion. But if you feel like power forward is the hardest position on 2K, then you've seen some stuff and you know what they have to deal with. So show your power forward some love. Show them some credit because this is hard to guard right here. So I have sharp badge. I've been really aggressive. You have to step or your lock is going to complain. 
Plus, you're in no man's land because you have to guard my pick and roll. Plus, there's a cut. And he played the lane. He reached. He got there last second, but it's not good enough. Boom. So, power forward is very, very tough, guys. Very, very tough. Right here, guys, I get the ball. I think I call a very simple slip. So, I had the slip pass. Plus, when they slip early, you could be really aggressive also. So, I have the slip pass, or I could chuck this shot right here with Patty. It's usually a green right here. If he jumps, that's a free rebound. So, again, the power forward, Tonic, is in a tough spot. Like, what do you do right here? Because the slip is open. I could throw it to him. You have to focus on grabbing the rebound. If you jump, it's most likely a foul. If you jump, it's a free rebound and dunk. So it's tough as a power forward. Like, it's so much stuff to guard. Right here, I decided to just be aggressive and just shoot it. If I miss, my center is going to grab the rebound anyway. So power forward is really tough. We're just being really aggressive for three, guys. It's really insane. Me and the shooting guard both have 35. And then right here, I know we're up by 30, but right here, we call it V-cut. If you guys don't know what V-cut is, it's a cut in the paint and then it decks out last second so they're tired of the shooting guard cutting so i said v cut so watch my shooting guard he cuts in the paint they back up he plays the cut and then last second dex is out wide open three so it's just so much stuff to guard guys so much stuff we're calling cuts we're calling back doors we're calling slips we're being aggressive we call a v cut the shooting guard pretends he's cutting and then he cuts out that's a v cut wide open three it's hard to guard and as you guys see in the stats right here 34 and 11 for me zero turnovers 42 points for braylon one turnover we have one turnover as a team me and braylon both put up 10 threes apiece so this is how to become one of the best guards in pro am guys this is how to become one of the best guards come out the gate being really aggressive at guard then when they're like kind of helping a lot sprinkle in some plays then when they're worried about your plays be aggressive again just sprinkle in these plays uh show this show this video to your teammates guys make sure you guys like comment subscribe guys i love you guys it's your boy Fab, and i'm out